Uh, Cancer, hi. Uh, this is going to be a reading for mid-September 2019, and um, these are general readings. They may not resonate for each and every one of you. Uh, if they do, there's an extended at the end of the video. You can check it out in the description box. Um, I'm going to be starting off the reading with an oracle deck, then I'm going to be doing the uh, uh, tarot for you, and then I'll be pulling two more oracle um, pff, oracle cards for you. Two more oracle decks. You get two full decks. No, you don't, because we'll be here all day. Okay, so, Cancer, let's, let's start you off with the uh, Sacred Traveler oracle deck first. see what's opening up for you here watching clouds lie back rest and relax relax okay so let's uh let's get moving to the reading here see what's happening for mid-September. Nothing's happening. You don't want to you don't want to shuffle for me. Okay. The overall energy for this reading is the Three of Pentacles. Um, this does talk about partnership. When I was um, laying out the cards here, I kind of got the sense of a third party. I don't want to go there. I usually avoid that, but if I feel it, I got to tell it. So this is what I got, and with this card, it might be that. We'll see. Um, starting off the reading, you, you get the Page of Cups uh, crossed by the Knight of Swords. Huh. I kind of see two people um, going towards each other here. All right, kind of meeting in the middle here. Um, it's not looking bad. It just looks like movement here. Energetically, at least, the two of you are moving towards each other. One more from a rational uh, space, the other one more from a loving space. But you two are, you know, coming towards each other here. You're focusing on this uh, connection, on waiting on them, pretty much. In your recent past, I see you did a lot of inner work here with the hermit coming up. Uh, it's looking like you went within and you looked at things and you may have come up with different solutions here for whatever the situation is. In your strength here, again, this is what actually... I don't... This is not the first thing I go to when I see this card, you know, three-party. It's not... My head doesn't go there. But for some reason, when I laid it out, it kind of like, oh, okay. Uh, so this could be that. It also could mean that you're... Um, you're kind of anticipating the two of you coming together, coming back together here, you know, having fun, going out, things like that. Uh, and that's what's keeping you moving forward here, you know. In your immediate future, there is a little bit of a sense of being defeated, uh, depressed. What's supporting you right now, a cycle is ending in your life. You're going through some transformation. This could also talk about traveling, things like that. We'll see when we clarify. The energy that surrounds you, and you may not be aware of it, you're very determined. I feel like this is you, and once you set your mind or, on something, you're going to go get it. This is somebody that's determined, that's moving forward. And coming up for you in your hopes, you are hoping to... 
this uh, particular card in this deck, for me, it's kind of saying, uh, you know, see all this fire? It's kind of like resetting, restarting this fire here. That's what you're hoping for. And in your uh, immediate future, you get the Hierophant, which could talk about very solid commitment here. Now, we'll see what happens to that commitment when we clarify, but let's start. Let's start clarifying. Let me see this uh, Three of Pentacles. And the overall energy here. I see you as this very passionate person. I feel like you're embodying this energy of feeling very determined, very assertive. Um, you may be younger than this person. This, you know, normally this would be you, right? Because this is, you know, water, water signs here. But uh, I kind of see you as being this. So it's either you're maybe younger than this person. However... I do see a lot of love in between the two of you, and uh, I do see things balancing out slowly but surely here, all right? Um, you, okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see this uh, Knight of Swords. I feel like you've made your choice here. Um, this Knight of Swords, again, uh, you're embodying this energy of uh, a fiery kind of energy. You may have fire in your chart. This, to me, in this reading, shows up as you. Everything with fire here shows up as you. And I feel like you've looked through all of your options and you've decided which one to go with. You're very determined. You're like, yeah, I'm, uh, I know what I want out of all of these options. I know which one is mine. And you're going for it, you know? So, let's see this Two of Wands in your focus. There is this brand new beginning here for you, and you know it in regards to this person. It, um, it's looking like no matter what you do, you can't escape this person. You know, you feel like you're, you're tied up to this. Um, you know that you're going to have to go in and talk to your person in a very loving manner here. And... It's kind of like, I don't have a choice. But that's going to bring you a brand new beginning if you do it, you know? And um, someone here is waiting for that to happen. So, let's do the... Um, let's do the Hermit. Let's see what kind of knowledge you got out of that. This whole, I did say that I feel the fire energy being you. It could be the other person. You're seeing the other person. Um, you're seeing an. Uh, you're seeing the cycle ending in between the two of you. Whatever cycle that is, that that that, that doesn't mean that the connection is ending. It's just a cycle in between the two of you that's ending. And you are recognizing that this person is coming towards you, and they're moving uh, really, really slow. You kind of know that. You're not necessarily bothered by that. Uh, that's what you figured out in the recent past, that this is somebody that wants things in a certain way, and they're going to come, but they're going to come in their own time. And you also figured out um, possibly the cycle that's ending could be you expecting this person to move at your pace. And... Um, now you're just accepting the fact that this person is coming in their own time. 
you know, could be that way of thinking that's ending for you. Oh, I want them and I want them fast and I want them now and I want them... No. I feel like you're probably ending that way of thinking. Let me see this Three of Cups. You're, I still get the sense that one of you is, um, um, there's a, an age difference here, uh, not a minor one, a, an age difference for sure. Um, you're feeling like if you would, um, you know, come together with this person, you would be pretty much aligned, pretty much coming from the same, uh, you two think alike, that's where you're at, that's what you're thinking. You two are a match, right? So you, you think that the two of you coming together will bring you a lot of happiness, you know? Because you see things in the same way here, from what I'm getting. Let me see this uh, Ten of Swords in your immediate future. You're needing to go back into the hermit mode here because uh, you're, I feel like you're, um, the way you're expecting for this to happen, there's something in regards to the way you're expecting for things to happen. And you need to work on that because it might be a little, um, a little controlling, a little like my way or the highway kind of energy. And it doesn't really work. And you know it doesn't work because it sends you straight into the hermit mode again. It's kind of like, I need to release control over this. I need to let it go and see what happens. Because you're not doing that fully. You're expecting certain things to happen certain ways. And that's actually hurting you. Uh, that's not benefiting you. It's making you feel like crap. So... But you're going to go within, and you're going to figure that one out, because the world card is coming again here. So. Yeah, there's movement here. There's fast, fast movement. Possibly moving locations, possibly moving towards somebody or something. Uh, there's a whole lot of movement here. And I feel like that's happening when you're going to start feeling like you're manifesting things for yourself. You know, you're going to be like, I want, I want what's best for myself. And that's going to happen. And that usually creates, manifestation usually creates a lot of movement in somebody's life. And I feel like that's coming up for you. Once you figure things out and how to manifest things, uh, good things for you to happen, Things will start moving and they'll take you by surprise because they're going to start moving very, very fast. With the Knight of Wands here, you're going to be very determined in moving forward. Either in this connection, in any aspect of your life, pretty much. You know, um, it's a life changing kind of energy that I got in there. Let me see this Ace of Swords. You need to be patient on how you want things to happen, uh, you know, on this brand new beginning here with this person, there's a lot of patience required, which I feel like you're getting it, you're having that patience, you know, that stability, that nurturing, you're understanding more, and then you can communicate, and then you get the Hierophant <laughs> as the uh, potential outcome. So things are settling down for you in terms of you releasing control here from what I'm getting. You know, you're letting that go because you're, you're understanding from what I can see that it's not good for you. 
And then you'll open up to manifesting whatever you want. And things are going to start changing for the better. Let's see this Hierophant. Uh, there is this possibility again, brand new beginning for this connection to come back to life. Be cautious of this. Um, when things look stable with this person, be very cautious because they might not be. You're going to know, you're going to get to the point where you're going to recognize this devil hiding around this uh, stability. This whatever they want to share, they want to offer to you. It's going to look pure and sincere. And it may be the devil might actually be attached to your expectations here. Out of what um, equal give and take means. You know, because it could mean something else for, for this person. Could have a totally different meaning for them than what it than what it does for you. So I feel like that devil card is attached to the both of you. There, it's kind of like make sure you understand that this person is on the same uh, page here when it comes to uh, what they understand out of a equal give and take situation. You know, so uh, let me pull up a final tip from the universe card for you. It's not looking bad, just uh, make sure you're on the same page with this person. You're looking awesome, the progress that you're making. But when you get to that place where you're talking about what do we want out of this connection, where do we take it, make sure things are clear for the both of you, you know? Because it's looking like you are heading in a, into a very committed connection here, but it needs to be um, clear. For you both. Yeah. See, I feel like you're not agreeing on um, how you should proceed in this connection. Um, somebody here may be a little too logical about things, but this connection is starting to build up and there may be some disagreements on how do we do it? How do we move forward with it? And... Um, you know, someone says, well, the logical way would be to do this and this and this. And that might not be uh, aligned with the other person. If if the other person is coming uh, from, I don't know, a hard space, they could be thinking about this building together different differently. So that's where you need to find a common ground here on how to work on things. Because too much logic will bring the two of you to conflict. So, let's go to the uh, Oracle cards. Let's pull the Soul's Journey card here for you. And you get pride. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. You should be proud of that. So, let's pull up a uh, Spirit of the Animals Oracle. And you get the Snow Leopard, Self-Reliance. You are strongly independent and often solitary. Integrity is important for your best outcome. Cloak yourself with invisibility and walk with the shamans. Use your intuition and let your life unfold in silent perfection. And if only I could grab this card to show it to you. So, intuition. Which I see you're doing that. You're going within with that uh, hermit card there. That's, that's your go-to, you know? You're going with them. So, um, that's what I have for you. If this resonated, again, the ex um, extended link is in the description box. And um, I'll see you next time.